what's up guys welcome to apex engineering and design uh, we have a flitch beam problem to be solved today and uh, let's jump into the problem right now okay so this is the uh, flitch beam that we've been given so this beam is basically loaded at uh, two kips per foot with a length of uh, 10 feet long uh, a long beam and uh, what we've been uh, asked to find is the the tensile strain uh, stress on the steel when this beam is loaded with this two kip per foot loading so uh, what we know is the following is that the elastic modulus of the wood is given uh, in terms of pounds per square uh, square inch 1.9 times 10 to the power 6 and the elastic modulus steel is given as 29 times 6, 10 to the power 6 psi so uh, when we uh, go about these kinds of problems we need to consider the composite behavior of these beams because this beam is comprised of two different materials one is this uh, this uh, uh, wood right here and it's been uh, installed with a flitch plate uh, made out of uh, steel with a quarter inch flitch, uh, flitch plate at the bottom so uh, uh, in, in these cases uh, we need to consider the uh, the the modular ratio n which is given by the es or the elastic modulus of the steel divided by the elastic modulus of the wood so this can be found based on what is being given here so the steel is 29 times 10 to the 6 and wood is 1.9 times 10 to the 10 to the uh, 6 basically about 15.26 We need to transform the steel here when we do the composite beha uh, beam behavior. So we need to transform the the um, the material properties to the wood, basically. So when you do that, the wood remains the same, with the same height or the same depth, 12 inches deep, 6 inches wide. And the steel plate is going to be transformed based on the modular ratio. So the thickness of the steel plate is going to be same, quarter inch, but the length or the 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 width of the be, uh, the steel uh, plate is going to be increased because of this modular ratio effect. So it's going to be six times fifteen point two six, right? So that's going to be coming out to be one, uh, 91.8 inches. So when you ask to, when you ask to find the tensile stress on the, on the steel, it's basically deals with this equation, which is the stress is Ill equals to the moment times the central distance to the extreme fiber divided by the moment of inertia of the composite section. So, in order to come come uh, come up with this uh, y here, we need to find out where the uh, centroid of the the composite section is. So in this case, we will be using the the centroidal uh, distance equation, or you can uh, you can get it based on the first moment of area of this composite section. So we will see this uh, is y c is being the the uh, the centroidal distance from the bottommost layer let's say this is our uh, datum and let's say it's this is somewhere here this is our centroid centroidal distance of the composite section so this is yc so let's uh, take the first moment of area of this composite section so this is going to give us the area times the centroidal distance will give you that so if you consider the the steel area here, so the steel area will be quarter inch times 91.8, that's the area of the steel, times the central distance will be half of this thickness, right? So it's gonna be one eighth of an inch, plus we have this wood beam above, so the area of that wood beam would be six times 12, times the centroidal distance will be uh, from the datum, that's gonna be a quarter inch plus, 
half of the depth of the beam. So that's going to be 6 inches. That's going to be divided by the total area of the composite section. So that's going to be 6 times, or well, you can start with the steel here. So quarter inch times 91.8 plus 6 times 12. So it's going to give you the central distance from the datum of the composite section. Uh, this is going to give you uh, 4.77 inches. So when you think of the, the composite behavior, so whatever the section that is below this neutral axis here, this is going to go undergo tension because it's bending downwards the above portion above the uh, B uh, about the neutral axis that's going to be subjected to compression so that's going to be compressive uh, that's going to be in compression so uh, the question is asking the tensiles uh, tensile stress in the steel so we need to consider the bottom half of the composite section so uh, given that we know YC here. We need to find out what is the IC, which is the uh, moment of inertia about the centroidal axis. So we might have to use the parallax theorem to uh, compute this IC of the composite sec uh, section. So let's compute that. So we have IC. So we again, we are considering two different sections, one for the steel plate, the other one for the, um, the wood beam. So typical uh, moment of inertia for a rectangular section is going to be 112 B times D cubed. So we will be employing the same equation. So B will be for the, 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 uh, the steel. That's going to be 91.8. Depth will be quarter inch to the power 3 plus you need to uh, bring the uh, the axis to the uh, centroidal axis which is at, at YC so the D will be so you're using the parallax theorem here so the area of that section that we are considering is 1 quarter times 91.8 times the depth or the 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 distance between the axes will be uh, YC which is 4.77 minus half of this thickness of the steel it's gonna be 1 8 to the power 2 and that's gonna be uh, the uh, the moment of inertia contributed by the steel and let's go to this uh, the moment of inertia contributed by this this wood beam that's gonna be 112 B is going to be 6 inches, D will be 12, right, to the power 3, plus area will be 6 times 12. And the, the distance between the, the axes is basically, uh, we know that from, from, the, uh, from the datum here, so that's going to be 1 quarter plus centroid of the, the the section is going to be for the for the beam is going to be at six six inches high and then minus the yc so yc is basically 4.77 to the power two okay so that's gonna this whole computation will give you the the moment of inertia of the composite section about the centroid so this is IC about the centroid that's going to give you a number of 1517 inches to the power 4 all right so we already know the Y component the the Y component here an IC component here and then we need to find out what is the moment so here the the maximum moment will give you the maximum tensile strength uh, the, the tensile stress so we need to find out a maximum moment produced by this applied load on top of this beam well the maximum moment produced 
here will be called as w l squared over a so over here we know that the the weight or the load is two kips per feet so two kips per feet times the length is basically 10 feet so there's going to be squared up divided by eight a value of a moment of 25 kip feet that's the maximum moment so if you want to find out the tensile stress we know that the tensile that the tension is happening at the bottom of the beam the very extreme fiber will con, uh, will be subjected to the maximum tensile uh, stress so we need to find out what is this length which is already we have the yc okay so the tensile stress can be found uh, at the at the bottom or steel basically m max y c over i c m max we know that 25 kip feet so i'm gonna turn this into inches so i'm gonna multiply by 12 to make it into inches and then y c we already found out that it's 4.77 inches and the composite uh, section, the moment of inertia about the centroid is going to be 15, 17 inches to the power 4. Okay, so this is the, this, the, the, the tensile stress. But since we are working in the composite section, so this has to be multiplied by the, the modular ratio n. So modular ratio n is we've already calculated it. Uh, it's 15.26 15.26 that's gonna give us a value of 14.39 KSI so this has to be checked with the yield stress of the steel if you are using a 992 uh, steel the yield stress uh, for the for that kind of steel is basically 50 ksi for a 992 steel and if you're using uh, a 36 uh, fy is basically 36 ksi so regardless of what type of uh, the steel that you're using you are still less than the yield stress of the steel and if you want to find out the the stresses in the wood so the wood the maximum moment times y uh, uh this is going to be not yc it is going to be to the the extreme fiber of the uh of the of the the wood here so basically in this interface so yc minus whatever this thickness of this steel so yc minus quarter divided by ic ic doesn't change here so maximum moment is we found out that it's 25 times 12 kip inch times yc we know that 4.77 minus quarter inch divided by uh ic is 15 17 inches to the power four this is inches two so that's going to give us 0.8994 ksi or you can say this is 894 psi so this is the stress in the wood so that's it